The snow and cold temperatures are creating new challenges for migrants in Chicago. Volunteers are asking people to donate and help these newcomers survive the winter. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos reports from a Southside police station. Now, as many as 30 asylum seekers, some of them children, spent the night outdoors here at Police District 7, relying heavily on tents, sleeping bags, and layers. Now, as temperatures continue to drop, volunteers here and citywide are now sounding the alarm. Asylum seekers staying at District 7 got their first taste of a Chicago winter Tuesday as temperatures dipped down to the low 30s. By mid-morning, we even saw waves of flurries, the first snowfall of the season. A site some of these families, mostly from Venezuela, have never seen nor are equipped to handle. We are showing up at the station. We are the ones that hear about the little girl like this morning, three years old, who has a fever. Adapting to the change in weather, the latest obstacle for migrants and the volunteer groups on the ground assisting in the crisis. Melissa Deming of the police station response team describes the situation as dire. So what I'm seeing on the ground is we have hit our limit. So if police stations were a temporary solution, they're no longer the crisis temporary solution that we need. According to Deming, sites like District 7 are inundated not only inside where those with medical conditions and of certain ages are given priority, but also out. The sidewalks no longer have space for additional tents. We counted roughly 15. The situation is at a boiling point that volunteer groups say warrants a city partnership. There are so many people, so many needs. We as volunteers can't keep up with who needs what because there are just so many. Meanwhile, a special city council meeting is set to take place on Thursday where they'll decide whether to include a referendum on the ballot for the March primary, one of which asking voters if the city should keep its designation as a sanctuary city. Although it has been a hot topic in recent months, it won't impact the flow of city resources asylum seekers are currently receiving. Now, groups like the police station response team are still collecting donations. They have a number of designated drop off sites across the city. If you want to learn how you can help, you could head over to our website, CBSChicago.com. Reporting on the South Side, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS 2 News.